Welcome to our video on Mastering Django Query Performance. In this video, we will explore two powerful techniques, Select Underscore Related and Prefetch Underscore Related, that can greatly improve the performance of your Django queries. These are essential tools for developers looking to optimize their applications queries and reduce database hits. We will dive deep into these techniques, providing clear explanations, practical examples, and best practices. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to leverage select underscore related and prefetch underscore related to achieve lightning fast query performance in your Django projects. Introduction Welcome to today's video on mastering Django query performance. Are you tired of slow database queries slowing down your Django applications? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, we will explore two powerful techniques, select underscore related and prefetch underscore related, that will help you optimize your queries and achieve lightning fast results. So, let's dive in. Section 1. Select underscore related. What is select underscore related? Let's start by understanding what select underscore related is. Select underscore related is a Django ORM method that allows you to retrieve related data using a single database query. It works by performing a join operation between the primary table and the related table, minimizing the number of database hits required. This greatly improves the performance of your queries, especially when dealing with foreign key relationships. Advantages of using select underscore related There are several advantages to using select underscore related. Firstly, it reduces the number of database queries executed, resulting in faster response times. Secondly, it avoids the issue of the n plus 1 query problem, where additional queries are made for each related object. Lastly, it simplifies your code by allowing you to access related fields directly, without needing to explicitly perform additional queries. Practical example of using select underscore related. Let's take a look at a practical example to understand how to use select underscore related. Imagine we have two models, author and book. The book model has a foreign key relationship to the author, and we want to retrieve all books along with their respective authors. Instead of retrieving each author separately for each book, we can use select underscore related to optimize our query. Book underscore query set equals book dot objects dot select underscore related author books equals book underscore query set dot all. Best practices for using select underscore related. To get the most out of select underscore related, keep these best practices in mind. Firstly, make sure to use select underscore related only on foreign key relationships and not on other types of relationships like many to many or one to one. Secondly, limit the fields retrieved by using values or values underscore list methods to avoid unnecessary data transfer. Lastly, use the prefetch underscore related method in combination with select underscore related to further optimize your queries. Section 2 Prefetch underscore related What is prefetch underscore related? Moving on to the next technique, let's explore what prefetch underscore related is. 
Prefetch underscore related is a Django Warm method that allows you to retrieve sets of related data using a single query. Similar to select underscore related, it minimizes the number of database hits and optimizes the performance of your queries. However, prefetch underscore related is used for many to many and many to one relationships. Advantages of using prefetch underscore related Using prefetch underscore related has several advantages. Firstly, it reduces the database hits by fetching related objects in a single query, improving query performance. Secondly, it helps in avoiding the n plus 1 query problem, just like select underscore related. Lastly, it allows you to efficiently retrieve related data even for complex relationships, resulting in faster and more efficient queries. Practical example of using prefetch underscore related. Let's consider a practical example to understand how to use prefetch underscore related. Imagine we have three models, author, book, and category. The models have many to many relationships, where an author can have multiple books, and a book can belong to multiple categories. We want to retrieve all authors along with their associated books and categories. Using prefetch underscore related, we can optimize our query as follows. Author underscore query set equals author dot objects dot prefetch underscore related books underscore category authors equals author underscore query set dot all. Best practices for using prefetch underscore related. To achieve the best results with prefetch underscore related, keep these best practices in mind. Firstly, use prefetch underscore related only on many to many or many to one relationships, as it is specifically designed for these types of relationships. Secondly, consider using prefetch underscore related in combination with select underscore related to optimize queries involving multiple levels of relationships. Finally, use the prefetch underscore related method only when necessary, as it incurs a certain overhead. Congratulations! You have learned how to master Django query performance by leveraging the power of select underscore related and prefetch underscore related. These techniques can help reduce database hits, eliminate the n plus 1 query problem, and improve the overall performance of your Django applications. By using select underscore related for foreign key relationships and prefetch underscore related for many to many and many to one relationships, you can optimize your queries and achieve lightning fast results. Start applying these techniques in your projects and take your Django performance to the next level.